Or plus tool does a lot. We can do splits. So let's look at within the track editor how we split. Well, all right, we're going to take another look at advantage of using this plus tool within the track editor. Now, another thing that the plus tool gives us or allows us to do is splitting. So once we click, drag, and highlight these audio regions that we're focusing on, it allows us to do quick splits of this region, not necessarily to delete them um, as we did in the previous video, but just to mainly split them and dissect a lot of things very quickly and just play doctor with audio waves. So let's go ahead and play doctor and dive right into it. Now I'm going to split some stuff by using the, the plus tool and move some stuff around so I can show you how it's useful. But first let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Uh, this is the same thing that we had in the previous video. Okay, so just focus in on paying attention on what you're listening and when you're listening to it on the timeline. Okay. Uh, all right, let's let me rewind it just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we're just focusing on this part right here. All right. So let's say you wanted that uh, second part of the verse to be longer. You want to hear more of it. We can definitely do that with the split tool by moving stuff around. Now I believe the second one starts somewhere around, where was it? I want to say somewhere around six and a half. Let's take a listen from right here. Okay, right at seven, seven, measure seven. That's when it changes. So for this full measure, that's one full cycle of the second measure. Since there's two cycles of each chord change within the verse, I'm going to focus in on this measure and I'm going to extend it out one measure. But I do want to keep this measured there. So let's go ahead and work on this first by just simply hovering lower. So you, so you see that plus tool, click and drag. And all you have to simply do is click, drag, let go, and then click the highlighted region again. So once you do that, it automatically splits it for you. It doesn't delete it, doesn't make it go away. It just splits it for you. So that's really awesome. So now let's select this region and I'm going to click and drag to seven and then I'm going to split it. Okay. Now, since we need some space, we're going to extend this region, this measure, um, two more times. So we're going to slide these two regions over two measures. So let's select both of them. By holding shift, you can select more than one region. Okay, so let's slide over. And since this is starting at four, we're gonna move this over to two. So just click and drag to the left, two. Boom, pretty simple. Now let's only select this region that we had split earlier. Um, but you can just off click it and then click it again. There we go, it's selected. Now. If you just Apple come Apple C copies and place the play marker right after it and then Apple V pastes and then it all automatically shoots you to the end of that cycle again and then you just Apple V it again for paste and then boom we've automatically added two more cycles um, just in case we wanted to extend that sound or just extend the overall verse before it gets into the chorus because this is the chorus right here right after the pause so let's go ahead and take a listen at what we have edited now and I'm gonna start all the way from the very beginning ok 
Okay, as you can see, it's very, very quick and easy to use that uh, plus tool to split your regions up.